and welcome to the stream. The bird is once more in the trenches, his feathers caked with mud, his eyes glassed over from the shell shock, and his mind flowing with scenes of death at this war to end all wars. Don't worry, they come out with a sequel. How are you doing, fat viking? Good, not sick anymore, so happy. Tomorrow we're going to do a lot. That's good. We're going to do them in order. If you want me to do them in order. So we're going to do Avanti Savoia. I think Avanti's... I really liked Through Mud and Blood. I wasn't a huge fan of Friends in High Places. Uh, I think Avanti Savoia and The Runner are quite good in terms... That was great gameplay-wise. And the, the setting-wise is great. That was meh. This has great emotional. This is great emotional and gameplay. And that is... Okay, gameplay. Also on a vacation, even more happy. That's good. Doing good, grafting stupid ass. Poetry for laughs. Eh, I mean, as long as you're having Everyone fun. Everyone was affected by the war. Every corner of the world was touched. The human spirit drove us to fight where no one had dared to go before. Whether it was the mountains of the Alps or the skies above, we found a way. They said this would be the war to end all wars. But I wonder if there will ever be an end to human ambition and our will to destroy. Yeah, the campaign for this is arguably the best. Battlefield Five tried to do it again, but they turned passion into a formula, and the F Battlefield Five didn't feel as good. There were some good ones. The German tank one in the, in the fifth one was great. I guess Italy and Austria-Hungaria. God, the Italian commanders were so harsh to their troops. They were also so dumb. The one thing that sticks out in my mind is the Asanza River. How many battles of the Asanza River were there? I'm not sure. You either win or we all die. Big halfwits. Yeah. for you to cut the cake. Wow, these are incredible. Yes, it was uh, an incredible time. <laughs> you looked very handsome in that uniform. That's not me, that's Matteo. Oh, of course. I'm sorry, Dad, take as long as you need. No, no, it's okay, Tesoro. It's time I told you what happened to him. I did like um, it was during our Sniper Relief VR, together. where you play as an Italian partisan. My brother's battalion had been ordered to capture a fort deep into enemy territory. I wasn't going with him. I was part of a special unit with a different mission. Our task was to support Matteo's battalion. We were a proud unit. We changed the war for Italy. The Arditi. That armor doesn't actually stop bullets. Forward we go. I do also like the narrative style of, of this one. While Matteo was pushing forward, I had to fight up the mountain and take out anything targeting his unit. Just hearing this story makes me worry for you. Don't worry. I was in a full suit of armor. This is quite sad at the end. Yeah, that's what I was saying. This one is is very well done emotionally. Again, you don't really get this passion from Battlefield 5 stories. I had to fight them first. On, flame trooper, there we go. Can you not, please? Thank you. These are mounting their machine guns. Fucking Iron Man mode going here. 
Blackbow one was the last time we saw knight armor on the battlefield. Yeah, but you see, the, the armor was mainly for machine gunners, and it was for, um, to help prevent things like shrapnel and such. It was not meant to be walked around in. I don't know where the flame trooper is. Hello there. No, you don't, sir. There's a door around back. I'll just go in this way. There are you. There you are. So I'm gonna get some night armor and put on World War One. Special because I brought it back. <laughs> How are you doing, Toxie? I hope you're well. You're playing the the uh, two-part Italian Italian missions. As I say, the others. This is arguably the most emotional, one of the two most emotional ones of the game. Uh, the story so far is that our twin brother is going on an attack against a fort, and we are leading um, like a shot. We are part of like a shock. Special shock unit going to attack the guns up the mountain. There's a flame trooper. If you would stop, there you go. All that was left after the flame troops were some foot soldiers. After that, the church would be ours. Didn't even notice these guys come in. Come on, capture, 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 capture. What's this? A Madsen? Hmm. Might swap this for the Madsen. Because why well, have only one light machine? Well, honestly, this is probably a medium machine gun. Why well, have one when you can have two? Hey, look, more Madsen ammo. Okay, that's full. Cool. We can just collect as we go now. And we're wearing Iron Man armor. There was an artillery gun that was shelling us and Mateo's unit. I had to destroy it. And he was still heading to the fort? Right. I had to make sure he got there. Also, this the narrative being that he's telling his, what I presume to be, yeah, his daughter, about what happened is a fantastic narrative style, I love it. Anything here? Uh, this... I already have this. No, I don't want you. I already have you. No, that's fine. Whoa, those grenades don't go very far. Let's get to a wee bit of cover and get close enough to toss a grenade. Eternal Fam, how are you? The last Battlefield game? True. So confused about why it's called a light machine when it's actually quite heavy. Um, so the light, medium, heavy. So the purposes change. The purposes are different. Uh, and the definitions changed. So originally, I believe light, medium and heavy was its caliber type, but then it changed to uh, how portable it was. That or it's the other way around. I can't remember which one it was. Maybe she goes to the ones with the giant fucking bullets trapped in the tanks. At least some of them. See, there were some quote unquote heavy machine guns that were mounted and couldn't be moved, um, but didn't use huge bullets. Can't remember which way around. I think. Uh, I think it's portability. I can't remember if it's portability now or if it's, um... If it's portability now or if it's caliber size now. But again, the definitions did change. Goodbye, flame trooper. 
I said goodbye, flame trooper. Can you not put me a flame? There you go. Another flame trooper? Are you hip firing a Benet Mercy? Why do you have a Benet Mercy? It's Italy. We have should have some shit machine guns. Just someone else shooting at me from here? Nope. Come on, machine gun. There you go, thanking you. Flame trooper, you are out of range. Bro, I miss sniping and shotgunning battle last time was two days ago. Around the time, I'm talking about bad dragons in your chat now. You think people will be phased by it? You would be wrong. Yeah, I picked up the mats and ammo. Yeah, one second. Oh, sorry, there you go. I need to turn the fan on. Where is he? There he is. It's getting warmer here and I don't like it. The only way to ensure that uh. people were safe was to blow up the gun itself. <laughs> yeah. This is also an 18 plus stream. I think I set this to be a mature audience only stream. But um what was it? You see, I love the operations in the multiplayer of this game, but operations is basically dead now, which makes me sad. Uh, four. Here, have a crap ton of explosives. Uh, there's a door out here. Let's head up and watch it, uh... There we go. That explosion was one of the sweetest sights of the war for me. Why is this out of ammo? Oh, that's not the gun. No rest. I could see an anti-aircraft gun over the next ridge that was taking out our planes. And that was my next target. You think I can stop me? I'm Italian World War One Iron Man. I inspire Tony Stark. Uh, little do you know, World War One is actually part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The gun was manned by Austro-Hungarian troops. I had to remove them before I could use the gun myself. Imagine creating a World War I superhero franchise. Uh, what is the tabletop RPG? Weird World, Weird War One, or something like that, where it's like a, it's a sort of cosmic horror World War One RPG. I take down the last man, but then I hear a noise that I will never forget. They were targeting Mateo's unit below me. So I do the only thing I can. Now the pom pom. It was me against an entire enemy bomber squadron. Now the 
goes. We had no reinforcements. If those men were killed, our advance would be completely halted. There you are. And I would have lost my tail. The sooner I can get to get from shooting at the back of them to shooting the front of them, the better. Oh, I'm overheated. Fuck. After the first few went down, they started targeting me. I had to stand my ground. I don't know why I love anti-air. I love playing anti-air and um, I love playing anti-air in War Thunder. I was expecting them to come from a different direction. I'll tell you that. Just the only th way I'm able to aim is play the objective markers. I cannot see anything through the rest of the smoke. What's hitting me from this side? This would be a weird World War II game. Ah, okay. I thought it was World War One. My bad. Were you still safe behind your armor? Of course, of course. Nothing could dent it. I feel like that wouldn't cause any sort of fucking concussion. Yeah, because that's survivable. And uh, the armor is just so happens to be falling off. Why are you? Why the helmet? Why are you taking off the surviving pieces of armor? Wouldn't you want them on just an off chance? Something hits? No? Okay. Themselves. Oh God, Mateo. I all those low facial expressions the budget was blown on. <laughs> so I went down into that hell. It was my only choice. Ah, the Villa Perosa. Never actually like an SMG, so to speak. It was an aircraft machine gun that then became a like an ultra light machine gun. I had to find it had like a. You could have been it had like a bipod mount and such, so that you would mount it on like the edge of a trench or on top of a barricade. Oh, this tiny thing. Let's get killed with this tiny thing. Hells yeah. It started with the first thing that came through the fog. There were allies pinned inside lodges. I needed to save them. Whoop. Who's shooting at me? Can't you not, please? Where are you? Aha. Uh -huh. This pistol is so goddamn awful. No, get away from that explosive. Where... God, it's not even that accurate either. It's just small. Switch the small double barrel SMG. I will when this runs out of ammo. I promise. And then we just, um, push all the blood back inside my body. Wipe the jam off the face. 
God, the bullet moves so slowly too. We could hear them before we saw them. Armored vehicles coming from the enemy fort. But you didn't have your equipment anymore. There were crates of enemy weapons in the lodges that we scavenged and prepared ourselves with. Uh, stick grenade? No, I need something bigger. A whatever this is called. Can you let me pick it up, please? Fucking... Can I pick up something up, please? No, I don't want that. Very had this version run with so many automatic guns. Yeah, I mentioned that in the first stream. It was silly. Okay, now will you let me- no, box, go away, box, close, close box, box, close, please. Okay, if I pick you up, will you- you won't- you still won't let me. Oh, now is it giving me that? What? Well, I have them for any other vehicles. Okay. One bullet left. It was a hit, but did nothing. Please make it. Yes, thank you. Now for the double barrel SMG. God, like you, could, you have the different kinds of aircraft guns in World War One that they designed. I think it was like what an. An a rack of eight Mauser C96 pistols uh, set up, or M712 pistols set up to uh, through sheer force of will, to, took out their firepower. The lodges were safe to uh, shoot other planes. You never said no, that's not a magic no. What is that? Ooh, a Mondragon. This is Mexican, I believe. Can I see anyone or anything from here? Nope. Damn, I was hoping I'd be able to... I was hoping I'd be able to, um... Fuck. To, uh... Field gun someone. A lot of dead Italians. God, the Italian generals were just so bad. So, so bad. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. But I could hear Italian yelling. I knew my friends were trapped. Everywhere I looked, too late. I felt alone among ghosts. After a while, I couldn't even look at the bodies. You had to have made it to the fort. Eh. Okay, let's take a Madsen. No, I don't want that. I already have those. I'll take the field manual. Oh, fuck, field gun. Serpentine. 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 Damn. <laughs> Or trying to get bullets down range, while two is the war of the wonder weapons. Or mechanism for return the sharp stick of death. I'm... Huh. I don't know if I fully agree with that. I, I don't have a fully, um... I don't have a full counter-argument, but that feels wrong. Take this, Force. Every part of me wanted to get out of the trenches. But I could hear the town in the area. I knew my friends were trapped. Is there still gonna be a storm? Too late. I felt alone. Uh you have not been around some of the people that I've had the unfortunate 
uh, unfortunate honor of being around. There can be friendly fire with a sharp pointy stinks. Goddamn flame troopers are wearing invisible armor. Can you not field gun? Please. Oh, don't want to get close to him. Some of the things I saw to Zoro. I had to convince myself I wasn't dead. Like what? Fire. Fire. Explode. Thank you. There must be the side entrance here. Yep. Yeah. There were two ways into the fort. I could either go through the underground tunnels or above ground by circling around the back. Not through the front? I loved the Verdun maps that they that came out on the DLCs in the uh, Je ne passe en pas. I think that's the name of the, D the DLC. The Verdun maps are amazing. Also, if brought out the Shosha, one of my favorite World War One weapons. Anything? Set flatter? No. Nope. nope, don't need that. What about you? Another one? Okay, strange. What do you have? Another Madsen. There we go. Clear the Austrian horn. Explosives may be more effective, but their legs are unarmored. Okay, where are you? Oh, we have friendlies. That's good. Oh, only four rounds. Gotta reload. What was it from, uh, from, like, the Firefly movie? Or is it Firefly itself? Is like, the Bible forbids you to kill, but it says nothing about kneecaps. Well, someone is hitting me. I didn't realize it was here. Oh, there he is. Why am I burning to death? I'm not in fire. Gosh darn it. I'm here. Okay, not the best, but workable. Where's your kneecaps? There they are. God, this gun shreds. It just burns through ammo really fast. Anyone out here? Nope. Okay, I can actually fire single rounds of this gun. I was wondering if, like, there was a minimum of two rounds, even per the lightest click. I don't know how. I just knew Mateo wasn't there. Find Mateo. I still think about that field. Every day. I 
and almost stopped looking. Started giving in to the hope that Matteo had escaped. And then... No! No! He never got older. And here I am, still. Who decides such things? Yep, so that was the Italian. We're going on to the Australian next. In Gallipoli. The runner. We came from all over the world. The innocent, the arrogant, and the brave. We thought the war was to be our rite of passage. A grand adventure that would make us all equal in our quest for glory. But instead of adventure, we found fear. And in war, the only true equalizer is death. Hey, pals. Dardanelles, Gallipoli Peninsula. This Gallipoli attack was led by um, Churchill, who I think was fired after its incredible failure. New Zealand, Ireland, India, Newfoundland, France, and Britain. In day one, Steamship River Clyde uses Trojan horse, crashing to the beach, deploys several battalions of Allied soldiers. Half the landing force is killed. Yep, Gallipoli was a train wreck. Also, I have to say, the Australian uniform is fucking amazing. Frederick Bishop? Oh, God. Hey, are you Frederick Bishop? Nope. He's dead, sorry. <laughs> but uh, isn't this your picture? I suppose so. Jack Foster. I'm your new charge. No, you're not. You have to take this kid off me. <laughs> of course not. He came all this way just to see you. Frederick Bishop, the pride of Australia. Been lied about his age to get past conscription. Yep, I think like the youngest soldier was the youngest known soldier was I think. A uh, British soldier that was like 13. Yes. Follow me. Bridge wasn't fired, he was demoted and then he stepped down. Well, yeah, true. What a disaster. Our first wave didn't stand a chance. Look at all their defenses. How can we take the beach? We have the dreadnoughts this time. Plug your ears, kid. It's gonna be loud. Uh, well, the, the thing is that he's already here. Send these coordinates.
I don't know why they had to send the coordinates. For an easy tutorial. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Try to stay out of trouble. Honestly, this feels like me and new people playing airsofting sometimes. Also, these sites, not really a thing. They didn't have red dots. Like they were experimental for sure. Having some sort of um optic, but Frontline in Gallipoli? I don't think so. Well, there goes a whole bunch of Commonwealth soldiers. Light about their age were often celebrated during the Mass G to World War One. Yeah, it was kind of expected. It wasn't. Oops. It wasn't unusual for teachers to walk their uh, glasses down to the uh, enlistment office in the UK, from what I heard. Oh, we're back here. Fuck. I mean, I got the headshot, but it didn't kill him. You okay there, bud? Why do you have a rush? Why do you have a pearl grip Russian w Russian contract Winchester? There's no 54 Russian ammo here for you to use. Come on, lads. Push to the top. Come on. Five, ten. I love the Lee Enfield. I missed my chance to get a gas blowback stem. It was selling for about 700 around the same time I got my card, so I didn't have the money for it. I want to message the guy now to see if it's all around. He said it was gone. That makes me sad. Oh, that's a machine gun. Have a grenade. Thank you. C96 carbine, no thanks. Okay, where am I even going? Nope, fucking why? I am almost out of Lee Enfield ammo. Gavar sniper? And eh, no thanks. Come on. Make it up the beach. That's a machine gun. How far is my throw? Not far enough. Maybe this will be far enough. Bit too far. Fuck it. Come on. Can I uh, get some health, please? No, nope, that is a lure. Well, time for the shotgun. Oh, I have a bayonet on this too. Awesome.
If this tells you anything, Australians are high speed, low drag. There's still multiple people around. Where are they? Hello. God, shotguns at close range are devastating. I want to see if I can get through this without actually having to, um... ...change weapon. Oh, fuck. Frederick Bishop, 1862. So 38 plus 15... He was 53. That's old enough. I'm back fucking here. Right, okay, sure, whatever. That works. Anything special in here for me? Nope, I don't need that. Can you cease? I don't know who the hell's shooting at me. There we go. There you are. Don't read as a headshot if you're not going to give me the headshot game. Uh, no, I already have a shotgun, thank you. No, I don't want that either. They can actually speak English, only Turk. We've got to push towards that overlook. Yeah, miss your bishop, I know. Oh god, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Oh, thank you, artillery. The fuck? I didn't know. I didn't know the Ottoman Turks were able to phase through matter in World War One. Didn't read that anywhere. Let's close that door. Oh, fuck. Don't lock me out. Let's close this door. God's sake. The Turks are sorcerers. Of course they're supposed to just pass through wall. They could misty step. No one told me they could misty step. No wonder they uh, they won this battle. Well, they won this battle. Um, they were awful in other ways. They sent soldiers up to the uh, they sent soldiers up to the mountains in shoes with uh, their boot soles made of cardboard. So of course the snow melted through, and a lot of them just died of the cold. Then Thank you, game, for actually speeding up now. Yeah, sorcerers are charisma casters, not intelligence casters. Time to send up the flare. Fucking kidding me! Come with me. Here. Look! Look at that, huh? Kid, you lied your way to hell on earth! You just wanted a statue of yourself in your town square. I think I'm gonna be sick. Come on, kid, get up. Come on. Come on. 
I'm gonna die. No, you're not. You're Australian. We're impossible to kill. Yeah. I guess so. Unless... Not a Kiwi, are you? <laughs> yeah, just casual racism against the New Zealanders. Now. First things first. Yeah, come on, stand up. God, I want to leave Enfield so badly. I'm in here. Yes, I'm out. Butt into your shoulder. That's it. Cheek against the butt. Oh, that's it. Point it where you want to shoot. That's it. Okay. Get your feet apart a little bit. Kiwis deserve it. They are delicious fruit after all. I was beginning to think I already lost my Australians. What can I do you for? Not you, the boy. We need a runner for the front lines. Really? No. Yes. No. You can't make the kid do it. You just stumble into a firefight and get killed. No, 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 I can And a small no. bird, yes. I'll do it. Fine. You're here with me. And you, you will be running. God, imagine being a runner. I have no fucking ammo. I need to replace this fucking gun. Yeah, I know. I know that's how I use binoculars. I need a new gun. Give me a new gun. Game. Give me gun, Liz. Liz gun. Ooh, a shovel. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. There is a weapons cache here. What do you have for me? Okay, explosives. And this. Sure, why not? The was in the tunnel is the most hell of World War One. Got the most respect after the war. Uh, wasn't Hitler a runner? What gun is that? C96 carbine. Fuck it. That's not a halo. You have to pull the bolt back. Got the battlefield music. Ammo, thank you. It's not the biggest bullet, but it's bullets. Small bullets you have are better than big bullets you don't. Game, game. Where are you? Did he throw a grenade? I don't see a grenade symbol anywhere. Can you not? I need a bolt action. Fuck. Shit. I was too busy looking at it. I was too busy being picky about weapons. Was someone getting sick? Did you hear that in the background? I need to find a way past those all. Okay, the machine guns take them down. What weapons do they have? Gewehr infantry. You know what? There's ammo for us. That means good luck for me. Yes, I know. About the binoculars. Barely any fucking ammo, though. This is the runner for the regimental headquarters, which are often miles behind from the trenches. Never was barely any danger. I remember those that one soldier reported to having actually seen Hitler at one point in the war, like a like a, an Allied soldier. How did I- 
I got a headshot with 8mm Mauser on you and you didn't die. What is this? Fuck it. Backup gun is backup gun. Thank you, artillery. Yeah. Fucking really? Fucking Falling back to here. This whole thing is going to shit. I need to get back to Whitehall. Now to make my way all the way back. But of course, I'm going to loot everything here first. Mm, that's a frag grenade. What is that? That is a Madsen. And that is that. Okay. How many of these do I have? Shit. I think there's an infinite supply of Ottoman Turks here. Well, shit, they're charging. But, I see a machine gun. Can I assist with the machine gun at all? Or, a field gun. Oh, they ran out of view already. Fuck you, house. The meeting story is actually fairly debated amongst the scholars. Yeah, I know it was debated. Um, there's just that soldier who claimed it. Let's lie down for a minute, shall we? Get our blood back. That's a grenade! Hmm. Do I want any other weapons? Are there other weapons here to pick up? No, these are just random ragdolls. A lot of shotguns, though. Fucking hell, you could have killed me. But I didn't. <laughs> sure fucking didn't. <laughs> Nice shot. Oh, well, you know, I just kind of saw him out there and I... <clears throat> you got falling lines across the board. <sighs> That's what I thought. Bishop, go tell rear command that we'll be moving up. That doesn't seem like the best idea. I can handle myself here. Head down. Got up. No open areas. Got it. Well, time to Going run to back to command. Any loot in here? Nope. Only four rounds left in this. I'm gonna have to pick up the, uh, the Madsen in the church when we go back up there. Wait. Where is everyone? Investigate rear command. Those who didn't hear from a runner, the Allied position is lost. Artillery fire ordered to cover retreat to beach, shelling the village and outlying forts. Shit, Foster. Yep. Oh, guns here. Fucking guns here. Shelling the position to cover retreat. Uh, fuck it. I'll take the sniper. And I have two gewehrs, but you know what? that's fine. That's whatever. Fuck 
Come on, come on. Let's make our way. The virus was so good, it was in two world wars. Oh god, please, the two world wars meme. The two world wars. That's why the 1911 is amazing, even though it jams when you don't fucking use standard ball. Well, that's... I'm apparently one of the protagonists of this war. He's one of the few that can actually land their fucking shots. Mm -hmm. Oh, he has a Lewis gun. I'm jealous. Can I get your Lewis gun when you die? I would love your Lewis gun when you die. Fucking armored. Really, headshots aren't instant kill with this. Going okay. But the rest of you guys fucking do something, please. Yeah, go to hell. Get out of here. Show the village in the fort to cover us. We need to get out now. I, I sent men up to secure the fort. A dead man. Who went? Only those who volunteered. So naturally, all of them. Fucking kids. <laughs> well, you remember being his age, Foster. Fuck. I gotta get that kid. Yeah, and that. Go. I'll pretend I didn't see you. No, he should be coming with us. Of course it is. One more death for me to live with. Go, go. You don't have much time. He put them in that mess. He should go to get him out of that mess. Storm on a fort by myself, and I called Foster a pinhead. What guns do I have? A sniper, and this. They took away my Madsen, goddammit. There's a sniper up there. Can I get around to deal with that sniper? Where are you going? They're going over there. Okay, so I don't need to deal with you. Hmm. Did you hear that? You did hear that. Good. Can I get him? 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 I can get him. Need to get rid of that 
fucking sniper, though. That's the main issue. He's looking over this way. Yes. Maybe if I can go around the other way. Okay, that attracted that machine gunner. Maybe if I go back left. They're all investigating over there. Nope, you do not want to look over this way. Really? How? How? How do they all get alerted? Just, their bad guy sounds are tingling, one of them must be dead. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's like, I didn't kill them instantly, instantly, but they still didn't make any noise, but that's still enough to, um, to count as him getting an alarm out. Reload, please. Wherever that grenade's going, it's not going to be at me. That was a fucking mess. Just beat him to death with a shovel. Channel our inner Krieger. Ooh, what are you? No thanks. Did the sniper have anything good? Usually sniper towers is something good. Oh. I'll take one of those. That's the Gewehr sniper. What are you, SMLE marksman? And don't mind if I do, again with a, an incorrect scope. Going to collectible run for this? Uh, no, I did it already before the game lost my save. I'm not going to bother with that again. Here we go. What again? You sure you didn't just want to shoot me? Come on. Get you out of here. This place is about to come down any moment. Uh, we can't leave. There are still hostiles coming, and we can't outrun them with our wounded. You get gone then. I'll cover your retreat. The bishop is still. I'll make it look like I'm capturing the fort. It'll be enough distraction. Once you get past Allied lines, send up a flare. Let me know you're safe. I'll make my retreat then. I'll oh, say so you're disobeying orders now. Well, I assume you did to come here. He's becoming a soldier all of his own. Sailor gear. Double.
Let's see how far I can. This kid has taken a lot of shit for some of us, but even been here long. Fucking oh, lot of shit. Yeah. To be fair, though, um, not being here long and World War One, it's kind of the. Um, it's kind of basically the guardsman edition of surviving 15 hours. Thank you. Don't see me. Somehow you're not seeing me. I will take it that you're not seeing me. That sniper spotted me. Fuck. Well, here we go. There you are. Oh, you're up there too? I have a sniper rifle, what in the hell am I doing? God, this... I don't like the reticle on the scope. Asti, how are you doing? Well, you missed most of the emotional ones. You missed the Italian one. And this is the last... This the last of the... Australian ones. It's Battlefield. To be fair though, Battlefield 1 has the best campaign uh, out of them, and it actually has like a couple of touching moments and stories. Can you stop powering? Also that monopod. Nope, don't need that. What are you? You're a Gavar sniper. That's a grenade. Anyone? I hear people, I think. Yeah, I do. Oh yeah, last time Kingmaker, he found out that our skeleton... Whoa. Our skeleton needed negative energy to be healed. We did not have discover that it was a skeleton and got fooled into thinking he was a dampier. He was a skeleton down here. Interesting. Oh yeah, in D and D last night. Um, actually, I think that video is finished processing. I can make it public. Um, we picked up the crystal of bad decisions, and I made a bad decision, but it was fun. So you know it. Swings and roundabouts. Fuck you and that crystal. What do you mean? I... We... We saw that, um... We saw that the ghosts only hung around for a little bit outside. And then, like, disappeared off into the mist or, like, passed on or whatever. So, Kali was entirely... Kali was entirely in his... Within logical reason to assume that breaking the crystal would mean that the ghosts would only hang around for a short amount of time before um, passing on. Those, have you ever, when have you made a good decision? Um, I don't know, is, was streaming a good decision or was streaming a bad decision? I think I shot that guy in the penis.
Or they'd have to try to murder one of our party. Only for a few seconds, though. And only because Madeline is presumably evil. Okay, what the fuck game? Okay, I call bullshit. Michael Lom, the Gewehr is a good rifle. Yeah, um... Nope, wrong way. Ah! How are you, Michael? I hope you're well. I hope you're enjoying. Um... There are some weapons I do like. I do like the... What, I ever, what is it called? It's Swedish straight pull. Uh, what was the K31 or something? And that's probably World War II. But I really like that design. Uh, favorite bolt action, though, is still the Lee Enfield. I just love Lee Enfield so much. I couldn't think of anything better. Let's use this for cover, shall we? The Lee Enfield is better. Uh, the Lee Enfield mechanism is slightly more prone to failure. However, Can't keep this up. just the pure rate of fire you can get out of it. Um. As long as you're somewhat conscientious of getting dirt on the mechanism, um, it's a fantastic rifle. I'll just rem- uh, Malin is probably the second least evil person in the party. K31's actually Swiss. Martini Henry has a good kick. I- See, here's the thing. I like British weaponry. Oh, fuck you. Um, I like British weaponry. I like the Enfield, I like the Sten, I like the Webley, I like the Bren. I like the Lancaster, I like the Sterling. Um, the Labelle. French Wellrod is great. Uh, the Labelle. <sighs> Tube fed. In me, there's always the worry that something's going to happen with the primers. Probably not. I mean, it was used long enough that that issue probably that, that issue didn't really wasn't really a thing. I like the Berthier, though. The Berthier Carbine. Is the heck happening? I can't remember that one. It rings a bell, but I can't visualize it right now. Uh. I remember, uh, there's a hunt streamer I follow, uh, Raxnor. And early on following him, I told him LaBelle Rifle, which is in Hunt Showdown. Um, uh, Hunt Showdown. I told him that LaBelle stands for the bell in French. It really doesn't. But it's been like, what, six months later and he's still saying it is? No one's calling him out on it. It's great. My favorite rifle is the Lee Enfield, but do like the Mosin Nagant, not just in this, but in the war games. But to live with the fact that you died because of him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mosin Nagant. Are you talking the long one or the M44 carbine? Obrez? Oh, fuck the Obrez. Do you want a chamber with no barrel? Here's the Obrez. Do you want the tip of the bullet just poking out the end of the gun? <laughs> now we're on to the last one. Nothing is written. In the deserts of Arabia, an insurgency war was raging years before I got to France. Tribes of Bedouins had united to fight a war that was it. very different from the one we fought in the trenches. Using small, mobile units, they challenged the might of an empire, and they were rallied around the ideas of a single, influential warrior. Ideas of freedom and change. We're going to finish this quite quickly, actually, I think. The last boss, I think, was the last boss is going to give me trouble, I think.
T.E. Lawrence. Yes, Desert. Lawrence of Arabia. A vast ocean of drifting sands and scorched, sun-baked rocks. Beneath these endless dunes, oil, the lifeblood of our new mechanical century. For more than 400 years, the Ottoman Empire has ruled these lands, controlling all that's to be found here. At least there won't be any more wars in that but region after this, right? Do not rule unopposed. Well, tactical fuck you in the trenches. Small bands of Bedouin rebels have united to overthrow the Empire. They strike without warning and then vanish into the desert. Fighting alongside them is a lone British officer whose exploits have earned him wide renown. The world has taken to calling this man Lawrence of Arabia. Are you sure you want to be standing so much in the open? Like the entire region will be stuck in all this tired for the next hundred years. But you also Sykes Bico agreement? And Anyone? was with us when we learned of a recently derailed Ottoman train carrying a most interesting piece of cargo. Can I move, please? There we go. A small patrol had joined the Ottomans who survived the crash. Together, they got There's the a horse. Look at that horse. Time. That horse is amazing. Except I... I know of something else that we can do. A lone fighter has just one advantage over a large enemy force. A lone fighter can move unseen. Let's shank this dude. Yeah, I'm already crouching, game. You don't have to tutorial me on crouching. Please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me, please don't see me. Though powerful and efficient, firearms would often attract the Little did the Ottomans know Lawrence Raby had played enough Far Cry to master the art of crouch walking. Uh, I don't think we're playing as Lawrence. We're playing as a Bedouin. And by the way, crouch walking shreds the muscles if you're not used to it. Terrible for your back. Uh, say that to ev everyone airsofting, especially indoors. That'll be useful. Air tool? I can't repair tool a horse. See these tracks? What the fuck is a 9 doing here in the middle of the Ottomans battle with the Bedouins? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what year this is. I can't remember. Probably earlier in the war. So technically the US wasn't involved yet. And therefore, in theory, civilian ones could have been bought by richer Ottomans. Could well be an Ottoman officer bought one. Suppressed now? That I don't know. Is there another person around here? No, there is not. Hello, have you heard of my friend, Mr. Stabby? Whoop. And sure, I'll pick up an artillery Luger. Funny enough, the Luger was actually... L Lugers properly made by the Germans were quite, um... were quite resistant to... 
uh, d dirt and debris getting in. Also, remember the mini tank? The FT-17 light tank. Our enemy could feel the wide range of expensive mechanized weapons. We learned to acquire a little of his own at a much reduced cost. Hello there, friends. I stole a tank of yours. Oh, there's a book anyway. AKA for free. I shot over him, fuck's sake. Just shredding. Funny enough, this is not the actual smallest tank in World War One. I. I know it's not the smallest, but also no, it's a solid snake. Uh, if, if you saw the Italian one, Asti, you would see that we were literally wearing like an Iron Man suit. Yeah, because, you know, wooden things are great cover against a fucking tank shell. Three monkeys, how are you doing? Uh, Italians, the Italians were the were the good guys, just a absolutely terrible in World War I. Uh, they were terrible to their soldiers, they were terrible tactically, they were terrible logistically. Um, so some, so when, you know when like soldiers go on, um, when soldiers go on leave, right? They, they might get sent, sent home or to their home barracks or whatever and and they get to go meet family, things like that, right? Um, um, the soldiers were not all, as if a soldier was seen holding hands or kissing their like wife or girlfriend on leave, they were punished. I'd like to get up there now, please. Thank you. enough to catch you here, did you? Lawrence of Arabia. Actually, I was rather depending on it. Eh, Lawrence? Ah. Well, this is very clever. Now the hunter becomes the hunted. So who might you be? How enchanting you are, my dear. <laughs> Achmed. I'll show you enchanting. If it weren't for you, I'd be free. Free, is it? You'll be free when you're dead. And I'm happy to tell you, the Empire intends to grant you all this freedom very soon. Even now, an engine of destruction scours this desert, obliterating your allies, your families, your homes. Soon there will be nowhere to run! Oh. It's a train, though. It's stuck to fucking tracks. To hide. Soon all that you know, and all that you love, will be ashes. You will all be free to die. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh, you animal! Zara. All right, blocks. Now Let's take that victory point. Like nothing more the Irish G-Man, thank you very much for the follow. I hope you're enjoying. How are you doing this evening? But think about it. You're right. We're doing the campaign on hard. I'm sorry. My friend here, she can be a little brusque. You're going to tell me 
how to lie to your train, so we can lure it into a trap and destroy it. Impossible. To even begin to talk to that train, you would need an entire book of communication codes. Oh, like this one, you mean? You can never stop the progress of machines! One day, the whole world will take your lands and the precious black gold... Raiding the party of seven, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing your community with me. Welcome, friend. everyone, who has come from the Irish G-Man's channel. Asti, can you do exclamation mark S-O space the Irish G-Man, please? Um... Of course, obtaining the code book was not enough. Now are we? We are good. We are chugging dragon. along. We are playing the campaign on hard. Thank you very much for the follow and thank you very much for the raid. Probably going to be finishing it quite soon. The commanders there carried high priority message capsules. We had to use those to send our. I am Solus the Heron. I am a PNG tuber, soon to be 2D VTuber. The model should be done soon. Uh, what we do here is, um, the Ottomans had chosen an isolated <laughs> nice. location for the is, um, we have a wheel of games that I discuss with chat whenever the wheel is empty, what games we put on the wheel, and then we spin the wheel. So both us and chat, um, both us and chat find out what game we're playing together. Apart from Fridays, Fridays is kind of a general multiplayer day. A Mario 2D. Yes, but not rigged. But yes, thank you very much again, the Irish G-Man, for the follow and for the raid. And welcome to the seven viewers you brought. How Zara tackled this dangerous and audacious mission was up to her. I still have the silence gun. There are things around. Oh god. <laughs> section's losing men. One section's already down to like a third power. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm not... Oh, wait. Maybe I can survive this. Can I Skyrim my way down? Uh. Yes. So are they hacking the train via pigeon? Yes, we are going to put messages with the pigeons. And the pigeons are going to tell the train to uh, stand down. Okay. There's a horse there. That's fine. Interesting. Eliminate the commander. Hmm. Old school hacking. See, it's a very polite pigeon. The train will stop for him. DDoS hack. It's an entire flock of pigeons with <laughs> with orders that don't make sense. Limpid charge. That'll be good. Grenades. I already have grenades. Oh. F oh, fug. Um, please tell me no one else heard that. Seems like it. Oh, two silenced weapons. The more ammo, the better. Uh, yes. Let's take anti-tank grenades. Is everyone? Oh, shoot. Okay. So they were alerted by the shot. What can I do here? What can I do here? You. That's the commander. Surrender? Is that a nice level with a suppressed silencer? Yes, it is. Is the commander not... There we go. Now, I want to take the advice given in the first mission, and... Oh, fuck. 
and hit and run. Ah, fuck, there's a tank out. Oh, shit, how do they know I'm here? Uh, this has gone from bad to worse. I thought I'd be able to avoid detection. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I hear you. Are you coming up around this way? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, fuck. Well, I'm dead. <laughs> You're getting mortared, boss. Yeah, I know. Zara Gufran. Come on, we can do this, gang. All we have to do is... Play better. Oh, now I'm on this side? Interesting. Mortared. Eliminate the commander. However, the real question is... Can I get that tank? And yes, I just slid through barbed wire with just a scratch. I was support that my second's overrun and every bird was slain. Um. Then what were you doing with your command? You should have. You should have fallen. You should have fallen back. You know what? That's good enough for me to get in. I need to keep moving though, because they're going to get on the field gun. Or something like from Metal Slug. God, Metal Slug's so good. Oh, hello there. Too high. I'm on an angle. Uh, we are both just missing. we go. Oh, there's the commander. Miss, this thing has no machine gun. So step one for your stealth mission was to steal a tank? Of course. There's a field gun somewhere that I don't want getting me. Satchel get. Get back in. <laughs> Love the way that the shell doesn't explode, it just continues on through the person. It's red and misted. You up there, you think you can stop me? I keep assuming he's gonna drop as much as the drops in um the first in the first storyline with the land ship. This one doesn't drop as much. Interact. You have one man working this entire tank. Yeah, there were one man tanks. It didn't last long as weapons got better. A single order wouldn't be enough. Ottoman protocol required the message to be received in triple before the train would acknowledge it as jingle. They were called tankettes. Yeah, you know, like Toad and Toadette. Tank and Tankette. Keep aiming too high. There, just get rid of that. Get rid of that field gun so it doesn't bother me. Now there's a patrol car going around here. It really is a DDoS attack, isn't it? Yes, I didn't eat it is. Okay, where is that patrol car? I need to uh, silence it carefully.
There it is. Silenced. No one will know what happened to them. A freakish engine explosion. Ignore the, uh... Ignore the entrance hole of the artillery shell. Part of me feels like they didn't plan on, um... The player managing to steal a tank as the first thing they do. Okay, it goes flat and then drops really quickly. Okay. Incoming enemy reinforcements. Oh no. Whatever am I going to do? Or did I already kill the reinforcement car? I keep aiming too high with this. Is the commander in that room? Seemingly not. Is there a field gun though? There is indeed. Let's keep moving and let's make sure that there's no more field guns to harass us. Can you please just get hit by a tank shell? Thank you. Are they trying to mortar me? Like today, I was playing System Shock demo. Oh, I played. Yeah, I played that a number of times a while ago. I am looking forward to it. It's definitely a game on the list to play when it comes out. Lol, by car. Let's pop a cheeky repair, shall we? I wish that this game had um, storylines from the central powers and not just the Entente powers. Is there anyone else around? I just don't want them stealing the tank. Pick up Satchel. Uh, how so? Uh, how so what? It eventually comes into a Paris, isn't it? No! Uh, not really, as far as I know. I think it's more of a thing of, um... They're pissed off that they don't get, they don't get the land that they were promised in World War I, uh, after World War One. So I'm fairly sure that they, um... They remain on Ton Paris. There's, like... No, like, French campaign. Uh, there is no French, there is no German, there is no Austro-Hungarian, there is no Russian, there is no Ottoman. But at least, you know, the ones that you play from those sides. Putting a great deal of trust in Zara's capabilities. Mm. But I had complete confidence that she would carry the game. So how are we liking the stealth mission, guys? And uh, no Russian campaign is a shame. Actual cavalry charges. Yeah. I love the fact that that Winchester started making weapons for um, for Russia until they can get their Mosin manufacturing up to snuff. Until self mission, there's no <laughs> if there's no witnesses. Remember, nukes are a stealth weapon as long as you take care of everyone who's who sees it. Didn't feel like using ammo. So 
So, uh, who's going to get this as their next uh, road car? Just going around in a in an FT-17 tank. To and from work, to and from the shops. Things like that. <laughs> Trusting bird. Some people would say you're a genius. Others would say you're a madman for that. Okay. No one's noticed me yet. Interesting. Just broke that roadblock. Oh shit, flamethrowers work really well against tanks, don't they? Flamethrower just wiped it out. Stealthy. Um, is the tank gone? The tank is fully gone. I'm assuming the commander is going to be in the main central building. Bitch corner hiding. Okay, is it clear? How the fuck did he get free? Although you see, the message had already been sent, my dear. Not, not the message you would have wanted. El Orans was such a good host. It almost seemed rude to escape. Made sure to note the location of Lawrence's camp, of course. Which means... The train knows too. Twice. You told that train everything was clear. But... I told it exactly where to attack. The beast has your scent, my dear. And it's coming to slaughter you? ...and your little band of rebels. First, the firestorm from the cannon. Then, up close with the troops... ...to slaughter any survivors. The legend... ...of Lawrence of Arabia... ...dies... ...tonight. I think the train's about to get close enough that the cannon can fire on it. It could the message could have included that um the other messages would be other messages would be false. Train's coming a long way, so it'll have to stop to take on water. That's where we strike. Agreed. I'll deal with any sentries then. Rig explosives on the track. Yes, and I'll rally our fighters. When I blow the lines, the, the train will be trapped. So when you hear the blast, you need to attack them with everything you have. It's good. But you know that there's a chance the men may not come. You may say Basic level strategy shit. <laughs> Know that. I guess I won't know either way until I set it off. Why does this suit sound like Obi Wan? He, I think he's meant to be the World War One Obi Wan.
They're showing off the different daytime tech. Destroy the train tracks, pretty goddamn basic. And God laughs. As it turned out, the small town where we would ambush the train had a significant enemy presence. Those troops would have to be dealt with before the explosives could be set. Okay, we have to get rid of... They look like anti-aircraft guns or something. Or are they cannons? <laughs> it reminds me of, um, in Battletech, um, a Davian defense against a Curita assault, because Curita was coming at them with a, a crap ton of... Uh, Curita was coming at them with a crap ton of light mechs uh, to, like, a Davian militia stronghold. Which had like fuck all actual um, trained military personnel, a whole bunch of, like students and scientists and such. But they had the they had basic strategy taught to them. So what do you do and then? This Orden triplicate. Yeah. Nope. Nope. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. I'm John Cena. You don't see me. Um, and with sh with what they assumed was shitty mechs and with basic strategy, they managed to hold off a big attack and they became heroes. Because this is what happens when you actually, you know, consider real strategy as opposed to thinking you know everything. Where are they now? Up there. That gives me a chance. There's an armored guy there. Oh god, look at all the vegetation flickering. Okay, now. Oh, fuck, really? Can I... Get around to all three vehicles. Man, we're running around the desert with a knife, stealing everything. It'd be working out pretty well. I need to get around... to there, but I can't. Or can I? I'm behind this one singular ru- Shit, it's gonna work. Look at that horse, that horse is amazing. In the village had to be dealt with before we could push on with our plan to destroy the train. Yeah, but I want to get rid of the vehicles first, because the vehicles are gonna be a big pain. Because once they are manned, it then becomes exponentially harder to deal with them. Oh, that doesn't go far enough. Well, shit. I got two out of three of them. So this is what throwables are for. Shit, it's down. Didn't think it was. What's in here? Ooh, an anti-tank rifle. Oh, I need that for the train. Why do the Ottomans have a tank of air again? A limpet charge. Can you not? Thank you. Can you cease? Now I wonder, can I 
limpet charge. Oh god, they're just exploding? Fuck's sake. My aim with this thing, I hate just empty, empty circles. Come on. Also, by the way, I saw this morning I watched Star Trek The Motion Picture and uh, Wrath of Khan. A uh, motion picture was slow, very slow, but if you're expecting it to be slow, it's a really good background film. Um, it's a really good kind of chill, low energy thing. Um, Wrath of Khan is amazing. Just in general as a film, it's great. Hey, is there anyone else around here? Red flags, I guess, are denoting... They are indeed denoting field guns. Okay. They're still out there looking for me. Nice knees you have there, sir. It would be a shame if something were to happen to them. Is he using artillery? Ah, uh, there you go. More limpet mines. The trap could be set for the arriving train. Well, shit. Yeah, a train coming in to stop would be going slower than that. Look at how heavy it is, the momentum would just carry it on carry it onwards. Aircraft. And that's one plane down. <laughs> Back in the day when you could shoot the end of plane with a rifle. Can I rifle this train to death? I hope so. Come on, where are the different weapons? There. Oh, I fell. To be fair, airplanes were mostly canvas. You can still shoot planes with the rifles, you just get arrested for it. Except also planes fly way higher now that than rifles can reach. Although in World War II, the Arasakas still had the components to shoot at airplanes. Where's the machine guns? I should probably not stand on something as easily destructible, should I? You break into the CIA to find evidence of aliens among us. They arrest you for it. Isn't that suspicious? Yeah, super sus. There is a field gun, but I'm still determined to use the rifle. Can you not focus on me, please? Okay. If I can take out the machine guns, things get should get easier. Oh. That's one of his weapons. Another one of his weapons is gone. This is the what is it called? The tank of air? 
It's literally an anti-tank rifle. But why does it keep blasting its horn? Nope, shit, fuck. Stop. Get away from me. Get out of my way, friend. Oh, the big Mauser. Yeah, I think they literally just took a Mauser and says, let and said, let, let's just make it bigger, shall we? It's nature, it's a sand, it's big horn. Well, that's it for... We got about 75% of its health with just a rifle. Um, I need more. I need more of something. You'll do. Should have built an anti-train rifle. Critical flaw. Yeah. Oh, only a little bit of health left. Or is it down? Oh, oh it's down. Cool. Think of air's tanks. <laughs> and that's the final boss. Sweet or bitter brew. How did you find us, Zara? And you're right, we do need to think bigger, act bigger. Maybe even the Suez Canal. <laughs> Tell me. What do you know about battleships? It's flagging yourself with the fucking gun. Remember the Empire of Britain and France reneged on the promise of Arabian independence. Controversy, the war for oil continues to this day. And do people want to see the quote unquote ending cutscene? Because it's, it's just kind of a set of stock footage like, getting into the multiplayer. It's not really a great ending cutscene. You're good. What about others? I've been ending until a couple years later when it starts again. Yep. So, we have an hour left in the stream. We have a couple of options. Let me just go to B or B. We have a couple of options. Um, we can end the stream. I can just stream... I can just stream something like Star Trek Online that I want. Uh, or we can spin the wheel and play, start playing that next game. What would people 